Come on. Roboteers, stand by. Gildoza, Paul Hart, Steve Scotcher, Howard Andrews. It's powered by two 24-volt electric wheelchair motors, 24-volt batteries for these speed controllers. Uh, it has a blade at the front, so powered by hydraulics. Another blade at the back, also powered by hydraulics. And that can lift in excess of 12 stone. Three, two, one, activate. So we certainly need those hydraulics to lift the wall out of place. And there it goes. Very low ground clearance, only 10 millimetres. It won't be flipped, but it could have problems with the ramp. And those blocks, they've fallen unfortunately here for Kildoza. They're in the way still. They can lift a ton. Let's see it lift a ton. Paul Hart, Steve Scotcher, who's got a very short fuse apparently, and Howard Andrews in the team. Here's Matilda coming in. You know she's got a short fuse. And long tusks. That low ground clearance has caused it problems. Kill dozy, 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 sleepy show. And in comes Matilda. Cease. Pain on the face of the Killdozer team. They're worried that they might not have done enough. We'll wait and see. But there's the original thrust through the wall, which was steady, and that's the problem. You see, low ground clearance impaled. They have done enough. 5.8 meters. Killdozer are through. Brute look very, very unsteady. Robot ears, stand by. GBH, Mike Rickard, Mike Smith, Charles Lavery. They were here in the first wars. And it does take on the maze. A sharp turn required. Ah, he's into the sheep's pen. And this could be lambs to the slaughter. Because Bash and Shunt are closing in. And it could be roast lamb at that. If the torch comes out and it does. Lamb, keep on. <laughs> Inside, we have um, all the control electronics mounted in a box at the back. Uh, we have pneumatic air cylinders and pistons for driving the ram up. It's basically the last war's scrapper's chassis uh, with a lot of modifications to it. Uh, better gearboxes, better drive motors, and altogether, a better robot. Three, two, one, activate. Better than scrapper, Mike. Couldn't be worse. But taking on the brick wall again. There's not so many of the robots in this field. Same route, up over the ramp. Slow and steady progress. Two 12 volt, 15 amp batteries driving it on. But now you see the house robots await. Dead metal and shunt in there. How can he be enjoying this? They took a block, but then they're trying to take the, the ramp with them now. And now in comes the pressure and the punishment. GBH, grisly, brutish heart from the house robots. In comes Matilda now. That five o'clock body has taken some punishment, hasn't it? Push, 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 they're saying. Almost to the line, dead metal. Almost forced back over the line. Well, have they crossed the line? Let's wait and see. Well, you made the end zone, lads. You made the end zone. <laughs> and you took it. You took a bit of a bashing, though, didn't you? It, it, it did. I think it handled it very well. It, that circular saw went through your shovel like it was tin foil. I think it was tin foil. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think you've got a lot of repairs for the next round. You think you're getting done in time? Yes, we can handle it. I think it's going to go very well. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. The shovel may have gone, but they did the spade work, and they're through. They completed the course, but brute! Oh no, they've gone. This thing's meant to be able to pull up. Truck, isn't it? Well, there was two of them, wasn't there, trying to push it and pull it. And, uh, well, I think it done pretty well. It's repairable. But the really sad truth about Robot Wars and reality in the Robot Wars life is that the Brute team, Little Ben's team, have cleared off home already. One robot is history, another's future is equally grim in the trials. But you might think Tug of War is all about weight, but it isn't. I mean, look at Pavarotti. He's heavy and he can't pull. No, you need traction to get a piece of the action. You need grip if you don't want to slip. You need power to be the robot of the hour. You need... Well, that's what we're here to find out. Each of our surviving robots will be chained to Matilda. Whoever has the least pulling power will be dragged out of the competition. Remember, if you can't take the strain, you've got nothing to gain. Let the trials begin. <laughs> For the tug of war, you're going to need lots of traction and lots of power. Have you got those? Yeah, well, we're uh, right in the maximum weight limit. 
and um, we've got rubber tyres and we let quite a lot of air out the tyres so we get maximum rubber on the deck. So uh, we hope we'll do well. Three, two, one, activate. Well, Stuart's a technician on gas production and compression in the North Sea, so he's used to balancing air. Squeak of the tyres as Ivanhoe bites in. The aim to last 30 seconds. Matilda tugs and pulls ever so slowly, ever so surely. Good night, the bold night. That's a steady score, though. 22.35 seconds for Ivanhoe. Roboteers, stand by. And the GBH boys tell us they've got a secret weapon. Three, two, one, activate. So let's see what it is. Well, they're holding from... There it is, look! The spikes underneath GBH. Holding in, digging in against Matilda. Using her weight now. Craig told us that Pavarotti's heavy but can't pull. Well, Matilda can't sing. She can pull. She pulled GBH in the bot disco last night. And again tonight. Into the smoking furnace. But 20.03 seconds. That's not bad. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Penetrator. So nearly in, and again teetering. On the brink, and surely in. Well, they didn't last a long time, Andrew Kepler and Stephen Lister. 9.75 seconds. Encouragement for Talos, that. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Talos, the wheelchair motors, the 24 volt battery system. Can run on four wheel drive. Needs it now. Already done enough there through. Fan of Matilda. Backing the house robot. Oh, grizzly beast with the flashing demonic eyes. And in goes Talos. Creditable though. <laughs> she loved it. She loves Matilda. Strange girl. Talos in. But through to fight another day with 21.47 seconds. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Bulldozer needs 10 seconds. Ah, now look at that. The front shovel, hydraulically powered, biting down to give torque. And Matilda's not going to do anything here. Oh, this is good stuff from Kyrgyzza. They love it. Just steady, you see. There's the fan club. Oh, dear. Matilda's not going to win the day here. <laughs> well done, Kyrgyzza. Yes, they loved that, didn't they? Oh. Ah, you can't do that. Well, you certainly smashed that one, didn't you? Not off, mate. <laughs> that was Gordon, wasn't it? That was better than Gordon, wasn't it? That was better than Gordon. I thought, you know, I thought you were going to actually get her into the pit at one yeah, stage. Unfortunately, we can't because the rear wheel's off the ground because of the slope. We'd have had her in, but um, the rear wheels are just off the ground. Ah, well, you're through to the arena. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about that? Brilliant. Yes! yes. <laughs> Kildoza, round of applause! Fickle fans, fortune favouring the brave folk. Killdozer through, they survive. Penetrator, they've gone out. They look really cute. You look like a stubborn little animal that wasn't going to go anywhere. Yeah, it's female. <laughs> ah, what we sadly are going to miss is the Penetrator team when you go back oh, to not, Halifax. Yeah, we're not going back till tomorrow now, though. Oh, really? Oh. Robot Wars is so much fun that you just have to linger.